for what it's worth, I think you would make an incredible brunette. Ron Swanson. Just, I knew that you had two ex-wives named Tammy, so I was hoping that there was one that you got along with, and... No, I hate them both. On my deathbed, my final wish is to have my ex-wives rush to my side so I can use my dying breath to tell them both to go to hell one last time. Would I get married again? Oh, absolutely. If you don't believe in love, what's the point of living? It's really good to see you, Ron. You've aged horribly. You son of a bitch. That didn't take Oh, long. my God! No, what is your idea. problem? Nothing's changed, has it? Changed. Who set the bed on fire, Excuse huh? me. For I me. did, OK? Oh, is that what you want to eat? Oh, oh, we're fine. Okay, we're fine. I'm so Please. sorry. We're fine. Oh take my it easy. God. When you meddle in someone's personal life, it's just so rewarding. Oh, oh God! Savage land. Good morning, Jerry. That is a beautiful sweater vest. April, you look like you could use $20. Am I right? Why? Because you're a kid, and kids always need money. I need money. Ah, that's why you're my favorite, Tom. When Tiger Woods feels invincible, he wears a red shirt and black pants. Good morning, deputy. Ron wears the same thing after he's had sex. I'm a simple man. I like pretty dark-haired women and breakfast food. But this stock photo I bought at a framing store isn't real. Today, I got the real thing. A naked Tammy made me breakfast this morning. Oh, I should have taken a picture of it. Diane is awesome, and she likes you, and you like her, I can tell. A, I don't recall inviting you in here, and B, I did not like her. She's not my type. Her life is messy, Ron. <laughs> messy is fun, okay? My whole life is a giant mess and I love it. I mean, look at my hair. I have gum in my hair. Listen, I will not pursue Diane. End of story. Excellent work, everyone. Particularly you, Ron. You have one very satisfied citizen. What did you do for her? Fixed her pothole. Is that a euphemism? No. Then great work. In fact, she's out in the hallway and wants to thank you herself. If you're here to complain about the pothole, I guarantee I did it correctly. Actually, I'm here to ask you out for dinner. Really? Well, I hope you're not the kind of man who needs to ask the lady out. I'm a middle school vice principal. I don't screw around. Does that freak you out? No, on the contrary. So dinner? Please and thank you. Well, it'll be casual. No need to wear makeup. I begrudgingly admit that the 311 program is a moderate success. I'm still not sure why the citizen decided to come speak with me in person, but I'm just happy to see a government program finally work. Call off the dogs. You and I both know that in my entire adult life, I have never checked a book out of the library. Oh my god, she's amazing. <laughs> Ooh. Mm. I admit there was a time when that sort of behavior would have driven me wild. But I am in a healthy relationship now, Tammy. A relationship? With whom? A lovely, intelligent, self-possessed pediatric surgeon named Wendy. Sounds like a real whore. Drippers do nothing for me. I like a strong, salt-of-the-earth, self-possessed woman at the top of her field. Your Steffi Graffs, your Cheryl Swoopses. But I will take a free breakfast buffet anytime, any place. She just knows you so well. And I was starting to wonder if I was ever gonna get to that point. I'm worried that maybe there isn't room in your life for another woman. At this very moment, Leslie is throwing herself in front of a freight train named Tammy. For me, and you. Leslie is a wonderful, loyal friend who's very important in my life. But I would sooner visit Europe than have something romantic happen between us. Although, if you'd like to visit Europe, I like you so much, I'd be willing to risk it. 
but not France, right? God, no. See, you know me pretty well already. But you're about to get to know me even better. I brought you here because I want to show you something that almost no one knows about. Certainly not Tammy, and not even Leslie Nope. Ladies and gentlemen, and especially the ladies, put your hands together for the one, the only, my man, Mr. Duke Silver. A mighty fine holiday evening to you all. It might be cold outside, but it's about to get warm all up in my jazz. I, of course, am Duke Silver, and I would like to dedicate this first song to my duchess. Hello, darling. What a surprise. Hey, can we talk maybe in private? <gasps> you and me? I believe she's referring to me, son. Please excuse us. <clears throat> so, I uh, am pregnant. I see. I don't understand how. We were so careful. I warned you about this. Standard birth control methods aren't usually effective against a Swanson. I got about a million thoughts running around my head, but I really just want to know what you're thinking. OK, here's what I'm thinking. I was going to wait until our anniversary, take you somewhere romantic, perhaps in a canoe, most likely in a canoe. I actually built a canoe for that purpose. But given the news, and given my significant feelings for you, now seems as good a time as any. Ron Swanson. Diane Lewis. Will you marry me? Yes. On one condition. Anything, my love. Ask me for anything in the world and I'll give it to you. Except a destination wedding. Just the opposite. We'd both be married before. I don't want anything big or elaborate. In fact, the smaller, the better. I assume you can deal with that. Are you kidding? As far as I'm concerned, we could go up to the fourth floor right now. Wow, hello there. Hey, Leslie, what's with the getup? We're coming back from a cleaning up a Pawnee River. There's nothing I love more than squeegeeing slime off a highway underpass. Where are you guys going? The fourth floor, getting married. Okie dokie, well, catch you later. What? Why? Poet! What tattoos? What the? Are you dead? You look like you're in rictus. I just, I'm having so many thoughts and feelings that I'm paralyzed right now. Would you ladies like to come? Can I be the best man? Why not? Let's go. Ron is getting married, and I love him, and I care about him, and this is the greatest day ever, and I, I do not have time to talk about this. Wait! If, if you would just slow down a little, then I could arrange balloons or a flower cake or a bouncy castle or something. Ah, Ethel Beavers, we would like a marriage license, please and thank you. What's the date of the wedding? Today. It's a bit unusual, but we Don't care. Leslie Nope, would you please be my matron of honor? Diane, you have no idea what that means to me. She gets it. Let's go. Well, this is like a waking nightmare. Happiness. Um, I need to get some flowers. Uh, why don't you hold this colorful bouquet of highlighters? Rice. I need to find some rice. I need to throw some rice. Why is there no rice in this municipal government building? I found a justice guy. These are the marrying people. This is Carl. Hello, Carl. My fiance and I would like to get married right now, right here. Haven't I done a quickie wedding for you before? It's certainly possible, but this one's going to stick. I need your full names for the license. Ronald Ulysses Swanson. Diane Tammy Lewis. Tammy. Your middle Just name Just kidding, it's Elizabeth. Let's go, Carl. Hey, hey, let's pump the brakes, Carl, OK? Belay that order, Carl. Shortest possible ceremony. I'm tired of not being married to this woman. Do you, Ron Swanson, Who take Diane gonna start? to be your wife? Who is I having... certainly do. Who am I and do you, Diane, yes. take Yes, I do. She said yes! OK. <sighs> Wait. The power vested in me? Before you, Carl, just one second. I would just like to give a short speech, if I may. You have 10 seconds. <sighs> At first glance, it may seem as though Ron Swanson and I have nothing in common. But Webster's Dictionary defines friend. Time. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Leslie. I could tell where you were going with that, and it was going to be beautiful. I now pronounce oh. you man and wife. Hooray! Yay! Great job, everyone. <laughs> the reception will be held in each of our individual houses alone. Pretend this is right! 